So it's just going to do a really quick random video as I do my weekly shopping. I'm up at uh, Macro and I do this once a week and I usually buy much the same things to stock up, maybe a few extra things now and then, but I'm pretty on top of how much my food bill is for the household. Now, what, what is interesting to me is that there's a lot of talk about inflation at the moment and I'm not seeing a lot of those effects on what ends up in my uh, my food basket. So, uh, I'll just go to the next thing. I usually buy soda water. I like soda water. I sometimes put a bit of lemon in it. Uh, and I'm just gonna check the uh, the weekly prices. Now uh, they actually don't have my brand here. Uh, where are we? Um, they actually don't have the usual brand. So that idea will fill in the bucket. So what did they? For, it's usually about 46, 48 baht for a, a six pack. And so those prices haven't really changed over the past uh, four or five months. So another thing would be like cat food, because I do have cats. Now my knowledge is that so far, the cat food really hasn't changed much in price either. Now given that the fuel prices have gone up quite a lot, things like petrol, for example, you'd think that the petrol prices would affect what we're paying for here, but what the Thai government have done is they've put a ceiling on the diesel price of 30 baht a litre. And the government's throwing a lot of subsidies at it, obviously getting more difficult as the cost of the actual diesel from overseas is going up. But what's happening is that they've been able to keep the diesel price down and everything in here, everything is all delivered via probably a diesel powered truck. So that might be one of the reasons we haven't seen some of the inflation effects at uh, a lot of these places. Well, so far anyway, because Thailand does seem to be just a little bit protected because a lot of these foodstuffs actually are manufactured in Thailand. A lot aren't, but a lot of them are. Now the cat food, we'll see what the cat food situation is. And it's not me buying the cat food, it's determined by two feral monsters that decide what I'm gonna buy. Anyway, looks like the cat food prices are much the same too. So we're gonna keep a bit of a lookout for inflation on the tiger and note what's going up and what's going down. Well, there's not much going down at the moment, but as far as the weekly shopping is concerned for food, I haven't noticed a huge difference. So I'd be interested to hear what you can see in the comments below. So please tell us what's going up and uh, how inflation is affecting you, whether you're in Thailand or outside Thailand. But from here at the Tiger, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button if you just enjoyed our quick whip around macro in Telang Phuket. But from all of us here, have a fantastic day and we'll see you next time.